Hello everybody, Kokorov here. Today I'm going to review The Fall of The House of Usher, the miniseries, I guess. Specifically for episode 8 and how it basically ruins the show for me. Um, up until then I found the show to be really okay to good, but uh, that episode just is uh, the definition of a 0 out of 10 for me. This episode basically establishes that no matter what action the characters took, they would basically die. And the illusion of choice that the villain quote-unquote gives all of the six kids, basically, was false. There was no choice. They were all gonna die anyway. And it was just a mystery bait. There is an interviewer of Usher who basically gets all of the information on the case that happened. And how there is an entity that has the ability to kill people for seemingly no reason. It can kill anybody anywhere, however it wants. And he doesn't share that information with anybody, which is very bizarre. He just leaves the recording on the graves. Even though he can report to everybody that there is an entity that can basically do anything it wants. Also, uh, after episode 8, there were no stakes because... The quote-unquote entity can do anything and basically all of the character actions are irrelevant. But yeah, um, the show was kind of a mess. Nothing really mattered. Like zero investment towards any of the characters by the end of it except, I guess, Mark Hamill. who Mark Hamill's character who I believe was called Arthur. Who basically didn't sell his soul, which I guess... I mean, it's that easy. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, the show sucks uh, due to the ending and I believe that it's worthless. GG, bye bye.